Altogether, 1,652 cadres of National Democratic Front of Boroland let down their arms this morning in Guwahati. The arms laydown ceremony was held at Guwahati Medical College Hospital Auditorium. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal attended the arms laying down ceremony. Besides the Chief Minister, State Finance Minister Himanta Biswas Sharma, Assam Police Chief Vaskar Jyoti Mahanta, along with others, were present at the event. The cadres let down around 130 arms and huge catch of ammunition. The nation today observed the 72nd death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, father of the nation. Manipur government also commemorated the day at the Gandhi Memorial Hall in Fall. It is worth recalling that on this very day in 1948, a Hindu fanatic, Nathuram Godse, shot the leader to death. Manipur Governor Dr. Nazma Habtula, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar, Cabinet Ministers, high-ranking officials, DGP of Manipur Police, LM Kote and other top police officers attended the event. For the first time in Manipur eSchool, a format of online education was launched today at the Classic Grand Imphal. Social scientist Dr. Dhanabir Laishram, social worker Dr. Soraisam Manauton and a host of well-wishers attended the launch ceremony. The 2019 novel coronavirus appears to spread more easily than the 2003 severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS, but is less severe in terms of number of deaths. Hong Kong-based Professor Malik Paris, who played a critical role in identifying SARS in 2003, according to a report in the Indian Express. A two-day first Northeast Land Conference, jointly organized by Northeast Network, Rongmai Naga Baptist Association, Northeastern Region Community Resource Management Project, and Martin Luther Christian University has begun at MLCU Silong, Meghalaya today. Some unidentified persons triggered a bomb blast at Saizang under Lamlai Police Station in Imphalis District this morning at around 8. No casualties were reported in the incident. A team of Imphalis police rushed to the site to take stock of the situation. A five-day-long Sunday school teachers orientation camp organized by Christian Education and Literature Department of Rongmai Naga Baptist Association concluded today at Rongmai Naga Baptist Association Center Church Imphal, Langol Tarung. More than 336 delegates of 103 churches from both the hills and valley attended the program which was aimed at imparting moral and spiritual education to the young children. A one-day blood donation camp was jointly organized by Raj Medicity and Blood Bank and Transfusion Unit Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Sciences Porompat Imphal on the motto Donate Blood Save Lives Today at Raj Medicity North AOC Imphal. Around 115 in-house staff members of Raj Medicity donated blood at the camp. Moray Battalion of 26th Sector Assam Rifles under the aegis of IGAR South successfully conducted national integration tour of Northeast to Pune and Mumbai from 14th January to 26th of January 2020. The team comprises of 24 students and two teachers from different parts of Northeastern states. The tour was flagged off by Professor Jagdesh Mukhi, Governor Assam, on 15 January from Raj Bhavan. Haurebi Ibudho Pakhang Bathaugalup today inaugurated a newly constructed Amaiba Amaibi Sanglen and other amenities at Haurebi Ibudho Haraubung Lilong. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister Karam Shyam, Lai Selungba Yumnam Chaubu Singh, Councillor Ward No. 2, Samuro Municipal Council, Taunauzam Mangi Laima were among others who attended the function. Ngangom Bala Devi, a Manipuri football player, created history yesterday after signing for Scottish club Rangers Football Club. She is the first Indian woman to sign professional contract overseas. Striker Bala Devi from Manipur Police Sports Club has signed an 18-month contract following a successful trial that the player underwent in November last year. The move is a big step in Devi's career who is currently the top scorer for the Indian national women's team and also the leading goal scorer of South Asia. 14 seed Sofia Cannon of USA defeated world number no. 1 as Bharti of Australia spinning out of the Melbourne Park semi-finals 7-6, 7-5 today at Australian Open. 
Barty came out of the match with a 4-1 record against American and had Cannon on the back foot for most of the opening set with a combination of big forehands and backhand slices. 21-year-old Cannon managed to hang in and save three break points to hold for 3-3 and eventually force a tie-breaker. Cannon paid tribute to Barty after her win, reports said.